really, really challenging. And it is one thing to go in to that expansion with your eyes open, but also to do a tremendous amount of research. So I reached out to a lot of fellow entrepreneurs and asked them about their journeys expanding into global markets. I think as an Australian business launching globally, you can um, have the faux pas of thinking that because you have an Australian, a successful Australian business, you can just replicate that overseas. It's definitely not the case. It's very market specific. It is challenging and it's challenging on many fronts, depending on whatever country you go to. There's a challenge just within the language, the environment, the culture. The challenges are numerous. It's dealing with two different time zones. You can't get things done instantly. I'll have an idea and think I want my New York team to know about it and they're fast asleep in bed. It's dealing with two, two different cultures and two different um, offices. So uh, dealing remotely is always a challenge when you take a business global. And dealing in a different culture with different business nuances. So the way that people do business in the US is very, very different to Australia. So we're learning every day. It's been a wonderful journey so far. We're growing phenomenally already, um, but there's still so much to learn. They love Australians, especially in America. But if you go over there for two weeks and then get on a plane and come back here, someone else will walk in the door that's prepared to put the time in there. So definitely spending time on the ground and knowing your market. You need to make sure that the, the mothership, Australia, is being well taken care of and well looked after and not neglected. And I think for anybody that's going ex to expand globally, I think that that's a pretty good piece of advice because, you know, that, this is where it all started for you or for me um, here in Australia. And it's those people that believed in you and supported you to get you where you are today. So you need to make sure to take care of them.